Uh, what else happened? Well, I told you I bought Death Stranding. Yep, yep. Yep, I have it downloading now. Yep, that'll already be out when this episode drops. Yep, yep. Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> this is pre- you and I playing Death Stranding, mm. right? Like, obviously, if I tell you it's fire, maybe you'll pick it up. I don't yeah. know. No, I will. If you tell me it's fire, then I will. Yeah. But here's the thing. A lot of people have been saying, like, did you see the IGN's review? Mm-hmm. It was like a 6.8. Yeah. Right? Like, and people were bashing IGN. Here's the thing, right? I need to get off my chest about IGN because <laughs> this just aggravates me. <clears throat> IGN, their reviews and a lot of things that they do – they're, it's a shit show. It's a shit show. Like when they beat Resident Evil Two, they 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 went back and rewrote that review. There's a there's an edit, and it says we apologize. We had to rewrite this review. Blah, blah, blah. They they completely admit it. It's mm-hmm. like <clears throat> they beat the game. Nothing happens. You beat it on one uh, Leon A, and then you beat Claire A, and then that's it. It's mm-hmm. like. You're not even giving the game a fair chance. You're mispronouncing the characters' names of the main characters of the game. Did you even play it? Did you even beat it? Like, that's what we ask as the audience. Mm -hmm. We should never ask that. Like, why am I going to IGN when I can go to all these other community people on YouTube that are do who who will take 30 or 40 minutes to do a a review on a game Mm -hmm. where IGN does it in 10 minutes? You see what I'm saying? By randomly selecting people that they've hired to do these reviews. It's a lot different now. Hey, I, oh reviews. my god! So oh different. my god! We were talking about it recently. Yes, and actually, it was recently that I was finally like, "Yeah, wait a minute. Why do I even give a fuck about IGN's reviews after?" Because you told me that they give uh, Red Dead Redemption to a ten, ten yep. which I guess I never looked because I never cared. <clears throat> I was always like, "I'm gonna get this game," and then I got it, and then I already have it, and I knew what it was like. So why would I watch a review? Yeah, right. But to know that they gave that a ten, yeah. So it was a masterpiece. Boggles my mind. Yeah. Okay. A so yeah. Right. Bullshit. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Okay. So I always thought IGN full of shit. I know that. I know that. And they're not reliable. They're mm-hmm. not. But listen, they gave this game a six point eight. People bitch when IGN gives a ten. People bitch when IGN gives a seven, an eight, a not whatever they give. People bitch about it. It doesn't matter what the fuck it is. People will go. Back and forth, they'd be like, oh, yeah, oh, it seems like they, they got paid off. They got paid off to give this game a high rating. Really? Death Stranding comes out, they give it a low rating. Oh, no, they just they don't know what true gaming is. Dog, anything they do, they get <laughs> bitched at. Bitch. Yeah, now here's the thing. you got to bitch for the right reasons. Mm-hmm. You have to bitch for the right reasons. there is reasons to bitch. Exactly. Exactly. You have to bitch for the right reasons. <clears throat> so 6.8, that is totally plausible to me. That does not illuminate to me that there is some agenda that IGN is trying to get across. And so they just, oh, well, we're going to give it a low score so we can get some clout so more people can look at IGN. IGN does not need more viewers. No, it doesn't. doesn't. It's got plenty of it's viewers. It's top of its <clears throat> class. One of the top. Yeah, One it's, of the it's top. Probably it's top, up there. IGN. Yeah, top like, five at least. Yeah, exactly. Mm. <clears throat> okay, 6.8. Could it be possibly that Hideo Kojima has released a game, new IP, Right, we never never heard of Death Stranding before. There's not a Death yeah. Stranding three mm-hmm. that doesn't resonate with everyone. Like, could it? Isn't it totally plausible that this guy from IGN gave an actual honest review for once mm-hmm. and didn't like the game? That doesn't mean that IGN's just fucked up the review. Yeah. Like, look at the game. You're running around the fucking grasslands all day. Like, I could see <laughs> yeah. how someone from IGN played it. And, and went through it and was like, I didn't really like it. It's like, yeah, but people are just shitting on IGN for all the wrong reasons. So I look at all the other reviewers. Everyone else is saying it's great. Really? Everyone else except for IGN. I think there's a GameSpot. I think GameSpot actually gave it a nine or something like that. Like everyone else saying this game is really good. <clears throat> so I was like, I'm going to buy it. You know what I mean? On the strength of everyone else. I can't wait to play that game because I can't wait to see if IGN was actually correct. If I agree. Mm-hmm. With that opinion, because that would just solidify my prediction that this whole thing about people hating IGN is full of shit. You know what yeah, I mean? I'm really interested for you to play it. Like, I really want to know if it's good or if it's not. Yeah. Because it, it has the potential to be really, really good. That's the thing. For sure. And I hope it's long. Oh, Did, it's have they long. Released how, yeah, have they released how long it is? I mean, people... The are main saying- story... People are saying, yeah, after your first 12 hours, uh, so I'm like, okay. okay. No, that's perfect. All right. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, that's like, dope. Oh, that's okay. dope. Really indulge into it. Yeah. So it's going to be a long game. 
Yeah. Um, and I'm looking forward to playing it. Just like I said, mostly, honestly, I'm mostly looking forward to play this just because I want to see. Like, is this the game that IGN's saying it is? Mm-hmm. Or is this the game that everybody else is saying that it is? It's like... Sad time for IGN. Because we were talking about it the other day. IGN's opinion really used to mean, mean yeah, something. Yeah. They gave something a yep. 10. It's like, okay, I, I could not even hear about this game. And all of a sudden, I'm interested. Yeah. Like, okay, maybe I got to check this game out. Like, yep. they gave it a 10. Yep. Seriously. Now. <laughs> Isn't that why you ended up playing Metal Gear? Yep. They gave they it, gave a, it 10 a 10 out of 10. And I was like, well, if they gave it a 10 out of 10. I was on the edge. I was like, Metal mm-hmm. Gear Solid. I love Splinter Cell. You know what I'm saying? So Metal Gear Solid, I was like, yo, this new Metal Gear Solid, if this comes out and people are going crazy over it and IGN gives it a 10 out of 10, I'm going to buy it, you know? And if, as soon as they did, I was like, and they, I think they gave, was it Assassin's Creed 2? There was another game that they gave like a high score years ago, like 2010 or something hmm. like that, 2009 maybe. And I was like, all right, fuck it. They gave Grand Theft Auto 5 a 10 out of 10. I was Did like, they give right. Witcher a really high score too? Yeah, and I tried that. Yep, yeah. because... Uh, I, I split that with Patisha. He downloaded it, and then I leached oh, really? it, and then I tried it for maybe a couple hours, and I fucking I couldn't play that game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see. When I get home tonight, Death Stranding. I'm oh, yeah. Like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out our other videos that we have over here in this corner. Somewhere. One will be here, one will be here, and then something will be here, and then hopefully something will be around here. So don't forget to click because, you know, we really need your clicks. So thanks for watching, guys.